It's not often, in fact, I can't remember any time in the past where I've talked about a home assistant vulnerability or security vulnerability. Let me just jump right into this real quick, make it a real short video. Uh, this was a disclosure that was made uh, today about a security vulnerability in um, installations using the Home Assistant Supervisor. The fix for this has already been rolled out to all affected Home Assistant users via the Supervisor auto update system. The issue is no longer present. Now you can verify that you've received the update on the Home Assistant About page. So if I go to Home Assistant here and I go to About, I can see that I'm on Supervisor version 2023.03.1. And it says that you are running 2023.0.1 or later, or .03.1 or later. If you do not see the supervisor version on your about page, you do not use one of the affected installation types and you have not, or you're not vulnerable. Again, the issue has also been mitigated in Home Assistant 2023.3.0. This version was released on March 1st and has since been installed by 33% of our users. That means that uh, if you're not here on this version of Supervisor, 73% or 77%, if I'm doing my math right, uh, users still need to upgrade their Home Assistant version. The security issue affected installation types Home Assistant OS and Home Assistant Supervise on both the Home Assistant Blue and Home Assistant Yellow. The two other types of installations, the Home Assistant Container, which is running in Docker, and Home Assistant Core, the own, your own Python environment, have not been affected. Uh, this security issue was found by Joseph Siren uh, from a company called Eltem and we, anytime there's a security vulnerability, uh, it's, we really appreciate, we, the, the community appreciates um, when we're made aware of it and then we get it, that way we can get it resolved. Um, so the supervisor is an application that is part of Home Assistant OS and Home Assistant Supervised Installations. It's responsible for system management. So what happened was, in the vulnerability anyway, the issue allowed an attacker to remotely bypass authentication and interact directly with the supervisor API. It gave an attacker access to install Home Assistant updates and manage add-ons and backups. Looking at analysis, it shows that this issue has been in Home Assistant since the introduction of the supervisor in 2017. And there is a CVE on GitHub, which is this right here. Um, so the impact here, a remotely exploitable vulnerability bypassing authentication for accessing the supervisor API through Home Assistant, which we just talked about in the blog post. Again, it impacts all Home Assistant installation types that use supervisor 2023.01.1 or older. And that includes Home Assistant OS and Home Assistant Supervise. Other installation types are not affected. As mentioned in the blog post, this is basically a repeat of the blog post. The issue has been mitigated and closed in 2023.03.1. And all of that has been rolled out to all affected installations via the auto update feature of Supervisor. It's been completed at the time of publication of this advisory. Home Assistant Core 2023.3.0 included mitigation for this vulnerability. Upgrading to at least that version is advised. So if you're running anything older, make sure you update it. You're gonna to have to be careful. It's important, very important to upgrade your Home Assistant installation to mitigate this issue. It's now been published, which means Anyone who didn't know about it out in the world probably does now and will actively exploit it if they feel like they want to do that. Um, make sure you're upgrading. Also, if you are an old version of Home Assistant, be very careful that you um, turn off or check your breaking changes in your upgrades. I, I mention this in every video where I talk about an upgrade or anything else because it's a likely or possible that you could break something when you do an upgrade if you don't check the breaking changes and make sure that that stuff is not fixed before you upgrade. 
So you're kind of in a catch 22. You need to upgrade for the security issue, uh, but you need to make sure you check breaking changes so you don't break something in your environment when you do the upgrade. All right, so there is a workaround. Um, if you cannot upgrade to Home Assistant Supervisor or the Home Assistant Core at this time, it is advised that you do not expose your Home Assistant instance to the internet. So basically that means that if you're not running your Home Assistant um, out or you're not accessing it outside of the network you're in, then you should be okay with this. Um, it's not 100% foolproof. There's always ways for people to get inside local networks and start messing around, right? So the best method is to do the upgrade, but if you can't, go ahead and block any access from this Home Assistant instance from outside of your local network. All right, so um, that's basically it for this. I just wanted to bring that up. There is an actual CVE on CVE's website, miter.org. Um, no information here right now for that. Um, but just make sure that you are updating uh, this and some FAQs, basically two. We don't know if this has been abused. There have not been any reports of people being hacked, so that's good. Is there a workaround? Again, if you cannot upgrade, and I recommend that if you're going to upgrade, that you check your breaking changes first. Um, but don't let that keep you from fixing the vulnerability. It's, again, it's a catch-22 here. You need to do the upgrade, but you also need to make sure that you um, don't break your environment if you need stuff to work. But the workaround is block access from um, outside of your network to your home assistant instance, and that will um, hopefully solve the issue. Lots of FAQs on the blog post. You can go to homeassistant.io and click on the uh, blog posts here, and it will give you the information that I just shared with you. All right. Just a quick security update. Just wanted to throw that out there before, um, or just so you, everyone is aware of it and that you get your stuff upgraded as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching this little blurb and uh, send you back to regular programming.